Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on complex numbers and I'm going to be talking about the rectangular form and the addition and subtraction of the numbers in rectangular form. So just a reminder, um, based on the introduction to complex numbers, that we have two different forms, rectangular and polar. In rectangular form, it's easier to do the addition and subtraction of these numbers. And a reminder that we have the real part, which is just a number, added to j times b, and the j, this piece here, is our imaginary part. Okay. And when we're adding and subtracting complex numbers in, in the rectangular form, we just add the real to the real, and we add the imaginary parts. So here's an example. So here we have 5 plus 4j added to 3 plus j. Now, these are our real parts, which we add. And what you could do here is you can see that because we have basically a plus in front of here, we could just drop the brackets here and drop the brackets here. So we end up with 5 plus 4j added to the 3 plus the j, because we're dropping the brackets here. So we write this all out. Now we add our real numbers, so the 5 and the 3, to get the 8. And we add our imaginary numbers, the 4j and we have a 1 here, 1j, which gives us five or 8 plus 5j. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So question one. So we have 7 plus 3j added to 2 plus 5j. We know we have a positive in front of this bracket, so we could just drop the bracket. So we end up with 7 plus 3j. And here we have a positive in front of the bracket so we could just drop the bracket because essentially this is a plus one in front of the bracket okay so it's just multiplying through using the distributive principle so here we have plus and we drop the bracket two plus five j now we add our real numbers so the seven and the two which gives us nine and we take our plus 3j and add it to the plus 5j to get plus 8j. Okay, so next question. So real minus imaginary again, real plus imaginary. So we can drop the bracket here because we don't have a negative in front of that sign. So we have 8 minus 6j, and here a plus 1 in front of that bracket, so we can essentially drop the bracket again. So we have plus 4 plus 7j. Now we can add our real numbers, the 8 and the 4, which gives us 12. And we can add our imaginary numbers. So we have minus 6 added to 7. So that gives us a plus. And the minus 6 added to the, and, and adding the 7 gives us a 1j, which is essentially j. So this becomes 12 plus j. Now if you want, you could pause the video and try the next two questions and then restart it and I'll walk through the videos, or the questions I should say. So this question here again, we have a positive in front of the, the bracket so we can just drop the bracket again. So 3 minus 9j. Now you can see we have a negative in front of that bracket. 
So it helps to just think about that being a negative one. <coughs> so a negative one times the five gives us minus five. It's because we're multiplying through here, okay? And the minus one times the 2j gives us a minus 2j. Now we add up our whole numbers, or our real numbers. So 3 minus 5 is minus 2. And minus 9 minus 2j gives us minus 11j. Okay, and last question. Again, we have a positive in front of here, so we can just drop this bracket. So we have 5 minus 7j. Here we have a minus in front, so it helps to put a minus 1 there. So we have minus 1 times 8, which gives us minus 8. And we have minus 1 times minus j, which gives us plus j. So then adding our real numbers, we have 5 minus 8, which gives us minus 3. And we have minus 7j plus j, which gives us minus 6j. All right. So that video has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a super day. Take care.